So, today I'm going to do a video more like my earliest videos, where I'm going to establish a concept that I will probably want to use in a video later. My video on binary opposition, and then building upon that, my video on ancient Egyptian ma'at should come to mind. So what I want to introduce today is something I'm calling the good person's evil. The good person's evil is a position in a moral dilemma. A position like any other in any other context. There are winners, there are losers, there are victims, and there are perpetrators. The good person's evil describes a situation where a person who is in general a very agreeable person will commit a moral wrong that can only be corrected with an unagreeable act. To put it into simple terms, it describes a situation where someone who is polite is doing a real moral wrong, where the only way to correct what they're doing is to do an impolite act. And that's where the name comes from. Someone who is polite is only doing wrong by being polite. We spend the earliest years of our lives learning how to be a good person, how to be polite. And where I come from, it's very easy to conflate being polite and well-mannered with being a good person. Because in like 90% of cases, the two concepts do mean the same thing, achieve the same goals. Saying please and thank you is a polite thing to do, an automatic thing to do for the polite. But it is also a good thing to do. It lets the other person know that you feel grateful for the thing that they have done for you. But like any conflating of two things, there is a flaw in that system. Notice a moment ago I used the word automatic. Politeness is a system that governs behavior. It has a specific set of rules that we are quite literally taught. Taught in very much the same way we learn to read and write. Eventually it becomes second nature automatic. It is automatic to not speak to others rudely. It is automatic to not be impolite. And that's where the flaws start to show, because doing the polite thing is not the same as doing the right thing, ultimately. Morality, like politeness, are both systems. The difference between them is the specifics of their rules. Where politeness is taught to us through very specific rules, morality, not so much. We are definitely taught right from wrong occasionally, but I don't think we are taught nearly to the same specificity that we are with the rules of politeness. And in a system like this, where politeness is front and center, and morality almost becomes subservient to politeness, you end up with people where politeness supplants their sense of right and wrong. You end up with people who are perfectly well socialized to do the moral right and be polite when the two systems are in agreement. But when their politeness is doing a moral wrong, they only know to continue to do their politeness. For example, most of the time it is polite to avoid confrontation. But sometimes it's necessary to confront things. Confrontation can settle what can't be settled otherwise. It can make right what can't be made right otherwise. Perhaps it would be best to make a real moral situation out of this. Let's say you have a friend. You and this friend have known each other for a long time, but you've also been drifting away as people for years. Maybe you realize it Maybe you don't, but you know you're not having fun when you spend time with them, but you continue to oblige them. You show up every time they ask you to hang out. And here we have the dilemma, the crossroads. They invite you to their house, so you oblige them. You have a bad time, and yet you come back once again, and you repeat every single time. And every day you spare your friend and yourself the grief of having to confront the issue at hand. One more day where you don't have to deal with the negative emotions that might beset you. Because at the end of the day, hurting each other's feelings is impolite. But is that the right thing to do? You're not having a good time, so Let's say they're not being a good friend to you, and that's evidence of that. But if you're not having a good time, chances are you're not being a very good friend in return. That means no one is coming away from this situation any better. 
No one is gaining from being in these situations. While you might be sparing their feelings, think about the time they sink into you. That time that they take out of their busy schedule, the precious time of their life, could be spent garnering friendships in new people who will genuinely feel entertained and bettered by their companionship. But obviously the only way to break this vicious politeness cycle is to commit an act of impoliteness. But ultimately, what is the truly right thing to do in the long run? The thing is, in order for confrontation to be good, yes, you need moral judgment, moral principle, but you also need strength, strength of will to see the confrontation through because confrontation is hard. It's easy to follow the rules. It's easy to be polite. It's easy to go through the motions. It's easy to read, but doing the right thing is not easy. It takes strength. And I find we don't teach that nearly well enough as we teach the rules of impoliteness. That being a good person and doing the right thing is more than being passive and considerate of people's emotions. Right and wrong isn't always determined by that gut feeling of yours. Right and wrong takes judgment and strength to truly be a good person. The spirit of this video and my channel at large comes from my uh, enjoyment of debate. I often have debates with my friends and that's really where I get the inspiration for these videos is I have an issue and an opinion I would like to commit to, I suppose it's not stone, it's electrons, the digital cloud, so to speak. So if you ever feel like you have a response, you know, that like, like when you're talking with your friends, you have a, ah, but wait one moment, I have an answer for that. Then please feel free to put it in the comments below. As you can see, there's not many people down there, so you'd be bright and shiny for me to answer in the comment section. As you can probably tell by the fact that several videos build off of each other in my, my uh, channel, you can probably judge that that's in general, it's basically me having a debate with myself. If there were others involved, that would certainly be enjoyable, so please feel free. And of course, I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you again next time.